Hi, and welcome to your Friday Extra. My name is Sarah, and this is your Bronx Business and Community News Update for May 20th, 2022, broadcast from the South Bronx Business Lab at 11 Bruckner, powered by our partners at the Third Avenue Bid. If you're looking for an extra helping hand for your business at little to no cost this summer, we urge you to check out our Friday e-news and the news releases page on our website to learn about the various internship programs hosted by our members and partners, including Manhattan College, Lehman College, New Settlement, and of course, the newly expanded City Summer Youth Employment Program. On May 15th, along with Commissioner Kevin Kim of the New York City Small Business Services, the Office of Mayor Eric Adams announced reforms to 118 city regulations stemming from Executive Order 2, Small Business Forward, that requires city agencies to review existing business regulations and ensure local businesses face fewer needless fines and penalties without jeopardizing public health or safety. The Bronx Chamber is excited to continue to work with the administration to support local mom and pop shops in our economic recovery. On to an update regarding the New York State 21st Century Antitrust Act. Senator Michael Gianaris has amended his bill to a B draft. The major provisions that have been changed are in our Friday e-news. They include clarification for television and motion picture, picture production, single productions, and certain labor union activities. It makes non-compete and anti-poaching contracts illegal. The position of the Five Chamber Alliance maintains that this bill remains highly problematic for most businesses in the state, large and small. More on this in our newsletter. You may have already heard the news that the US Senate failed to replenish the Restaurant Revitalization Fund, which is devastating for the 65% of New York restaurants that were shut out of the RRF when the relief funds were quickly exhausted. We know and understand the negative impact that this has on many of our members. The Chamber and the New York City Hospitality Alliance are not giving up. We will continue to work with our partners to explore all options to give our beloved restaurants and bars the support they need and deserve. On to events. Next week on May 24th, NYC SBS is hosting a business finance webinar on planning for profitability. Then coming up in June, we have an MTA pen access job fair at the Hutch Metro Center Residence in Atrium on June 7th, a public speaking workshop led by award-winning 1010 Winds news reporter Juliet Papa on June 8th that you definitely don't want to miss if you've ever battled stage fright. Jesenia Quinones of J.P. Morgan Chase is hosting a Your Financial Journey online workshop on June 14th. And wrapping up June, our golf outing on June 21st at the Trump Golf Links at Ferry Point is one of our Bronx Chamber signature events you don't want to miss. All details and registration information are on our website events calendar, business.bronxchamber.org forward slash events. That's all for this week's Friday Extra. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.